What's going on guys? Uh, today we are going to bring you guys a video that a lot of you guys were asking for. We are testing autopilot in the Tesla for the first time. So if you missed uh, a couple videos ago, I showed you guys uh, two or three videos ago the Tesla Model X that we just picked up and it has the full suite of autopilot capabilities uh, enabled on it. So. Today, we are going to test it for the first time. Uh, it doesn't let you use it for the first 30 miles or so, and then it lets you enable it, but we have not tested it a single time. This is gonna be the first, and uh, Abby's gonna be at the wheel so I can man the, what's? It's really bright. Oh yeah, it is, it is super bright. So Tesla says that autopilot's intended for clear, straight roads. Uh, like highways, freeways, things like that. But technically, you can use it on any road that has a lane, and uh, it works even better if you have a car in front of you. I think you have to go at least five miles an hour to enable it if you don't have a car in front of you, and if you do have a car in front of you, you can pretty much enable it anytime you want. Uh, but as you can see here, so we got the uh, dash right here that shows it recognizes the lane um, and that's why you can see the cars in a lane. It wouldn't show that if uh, the cameras couldn't see um, that there was a lane on the road. For this one, since we have the enhanced autopilot enabled. Hey, Aylin, how you doing back there? You good? I think she's telling us how to use autopilot. Cool, because I don't know. <laughs> so we have enhanced autopilot enabled on this and that what that has is it increases the number of sensors and cameras, I believe, um, and it also enables all of the autopilot functionality. So it doesn't only have um, the uh, collision avoidance and speed assist and lane assist and things like that, but it also includes the auto lane change, auto steering, but we're going to test it out. So. For using autopilot, there's a stock on the left side of the steering wheel. To know if you have autopilot available, uh, it'll show the little steering wheel to the right side of the, uh, the speedometer. So you can see it there, it's grayed out. That means we don't have it turned on, but it is available. Now uh, just pull that stock twice and you see it turns blue. Oh my God! It tells you, please keep your hands on the wheel. Be prepared, prepared to take over. Uh, I didn't see oh the last God. couple words, but now it's enabled. Um, put your uh, your hands like at the bottom of the wheel. Ah, <laughs> this is so weird. And you oh can see God. that it recognizes the, the lane uh, with the blue lines right there. It's set. Uh, she set the cruise control to 80 I right now down, um, because the speed down. limit was 75. But since the speed limit switched to how 65, do I, how do I decrease it? Um, I probably down? yeah. Pr try pressing down on it. Okay. Let's okay. So yeah. Oh, like, I don't want to get a speeding ticket on auto. <laughs> <laughs> so on the left side oh. of the speedometer, it shows what you have the speed set to. It's essentially uh, just like a really glorified cruise control, but it does a whole lot of stuff. The other cool thing is that uh, normally, uh, and Tesla has like a chart for this, the average person really varies uh, where they are in the lane um, during the time that they're driving, but with autopilot, it's like emphasized in the center of the lane, so it does a really good job of keeping equal space on both sides. Oh, well, there's the curve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the steering wheel move. Just a little bit, just a little bit. It's crazy. <laughs> So what we're doing right now is uh, we're off to go to the uh, domain. It's kind of like an outdoor mall, but it's where the Tesla showroom here uh, is here in Austin, and they have a supercharger there. Oh, so we're wait. gonna go test out the supercharger for the first time as well. I don't think that's what I put in my maps. Oh wow! Steering wheel. So this is a pretty decent turn. You can see it there on the map. That's what it's taking right now. It uh, checks that you're aware and that you are ready to take control. I think every two minutes, it'll do a little check and make you kind of do like a little tug on the wheel just to show that you um, have control. Uh, but it doesn't disable it or anything like that. It just makes you kind of do a, a check-in. Some people have said is that you can tie like a water bottle to the steering wheel <laughs> to the side really so that you don't have to touch it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have change lanes. Okay. So um, with changing lanes, you just have to put your blinker on and the car should check if you have space, which we don't. <laughs> so you put on the blinker, it should check if there's space. Oh, I have to like put it on for real. Oh, oh yeah. my God! 
<laughs> and then it makes a lane change. Um, so you can just have it make lane changes for you if you want to. Uh, it checks and can, can detect cars all around you, as you can see on the screen. Um, it sees the car in front of us, and it automatically brakes and accelerates uh, based on that. That's something that's available in a lot of um, luxury cars these days, Mercedes, uh, BMW. They have features like that. But what's cool is that the car with autopilot will try to... <laughs> Ayla's been talking like nonstop. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Nothing's wrong with that. I just think it's funny. She makes good noises. What are you talking about, huh? What are you talking about? Cool. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> That's a pretty serious turn. How do you get used to this? Oh, this is nuts. Because she has the uh, she has the max set to 71 for the cruise control, but the car has slowed her down to 62 because that's just what the traffic's doing. <laughs> you do have to turn off your blinker. At least I think. <sighs> this is crazy. This is really crazy. <laughs> I wish they'd let us do this on the test drive. I know. It wouldn't be quite so crazy. Yeah, when you do the test drive with Tesla, they're like super, super careful about it, which is understandable. The other thing that I think is really cool is that it, the cameras can sense cars ahead of the cars in front of you. Um, I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but uh, yesterday when I was driving, I had a car in front of the car in front of me slam on their brakes and the collision avoidance system saw it and the car in front of them turned red on the screen and then beeped at me. And I imagine if uh, the car in front of me slammed on their brakes as well and I needed to stop, it would have stopped for me. But I thought that was really cool. So that's autopilot. If you guys like this, let me know. Um, and then I'll bring kind of more videos just showing some of the cool features on the Model X. Uh, I imagine the longer we use this, the more um, we'll the more we'll get used to it and the more whatever. little like little things that we'll find I'll be able to tell you guys about. But that was, that was pretty awesome. That was pretty cool. It was nice not having to like actually drive. Yeah. I was just like paid attention. All right, we got hooked up now. The, uh, the the guy that actually was our salesman um, was just, he was in this car right here and they weren't using it for charging. So he got us hooked up. Green means go. Oh, that's cool. You can see the uh, the car there and it shows, the, it shows the battery and how long it would take to fully charge. 36, 36 miles per hour. We'll see it, how it is when we get back, but that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, if you like these kind of videos, just showing uh, showing the, the car as we get to learn it, some of the cool little features, uh, let me know. I'll make more videos like this. I know this one is a little bit shorter today. We'll make a longer one for tomorrow. You guys have been awesome. Thanks so much for checking out the video. On the off chance you're looking for a Tesla, uh, I'll have our referral code down in the description. Otherwise, remember, life's better with horsepower, even if it's electric powered. Uh, keep life living, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.